What up everybody, it's me Blake316 here to get my first impressions on the Xbox One versus the PlayStation 4. Before I give any of my impressions of the comparison between the two, I'm just going to start off by saying they're both really good consoles and I'm definitely enjoying both of them. I'm going to state that right off the top, they're both really good consoles. Now, I'm going to start with the PlayStation 4. My first impressions with the PlayStation 4 is I'm really surprised how much I like this console. You know, I was never really a big Sony fan. I wasn't a big fan of the PlayStation 3. Never really, I never owned the PlayStation 2. So, I never really liked Sony. With this PlayStation 4, I'm definitely surprised and really enjoying the console. I'm going to start off with the controller. I love the PlayStation 4 controller. Yes, I'm admitting that I love a PlayStation product and it's the PlayStation 4 controller. I hated the PlayStation 3 controller. I didn't like the PlayStation 2 or even the 1 controller. But this PlayStation 4 controller is a huge upgrade over any Sony controller ever made. It's a damn good controller. Um, to get into the online, Sony does now charge for PlayStation Network. I really don't mind, or nor do I even really care. That's not really a huge issue to me, being that I always game on the Xbox 360, and I always played for Xbox Live. With that being said, PlayStation Network, um, I still don't think it's better than Xbox 360 Xbox Live, and I emphasize on the Xbox 360 Xbox Live. I'll get, the, get to that further in this video. But, I mean, it's a good uh, online service with free games. PlayStation Store is pretty cool. Another huge upgrade that I like of the PlayStation 4 over the PlayStation 3 is the interface. I hated the PlayStation 3 interface menu. I didn't like it. I thought it was slow. I thought it was. It took forever to go to your friends list, to respond to messages, to delete friends, just to navigate period through the, the PlayStation 3 dashboard. I hated it. The PlayStation 4, is it an improvement and upgrade? Hell yes. Is it? Is it something that I enjoy? Eh. It's cool, but it's a huge improvement over the PlayStation 3 dashboard. That's another positive with this system. As far as games, I mean, let's be honest, the PlayStation 4 really has no games right now. I bought Battlefield 4, and I honestly don't think there's going to be any games for this thing for quite a while. I think Sony's waiting to E3 2014 to really announce their games, and games probably will actually start coming out in fall to December 2014. Yes, we have Infamous Sun coming out, but what else is there coming out for the PlayStation 4? Not much. That's just a fact. A lot of people might try to deny it, but hey, I'm not being a hater. I own the console. I want games for it. Right now, there's nothing really to play for it. Um, the graphics look friggin' amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Battlefield 4 looks amazing on this console, and I'm thor thor thoroughly <laughs> impressed with this PlayStation 4 all around. The controller feels good. The, the graphics are fucking amazing. The the dashboard interface is a huge upgrade over the PlayStation 3. It's an overall great purchase. One disappointment that I have with this thing is that it wasn't actually bundled with the PlayStation camera. You know, I think Sony's kind of biting themselves in the ass not bundling it because I honestly don't think that if Sony added an extra $100 to the price tag and included the camera, they really wouldn't still have not sold 4.2 million consoles in a month. I mean, I think Sony's kind of regretting it to making the extra profit, and I really don't think it would have hurt, have hurt their sales. Uh, so I'm kind of disappointed that it didn't come with the, the camera bundle, but hey, it is what it is. Also, I noticed on the box it says Jet Black. I'm wondering if the uh, Sony's going to release multiple colors with the PlayStation 4. You heard it here first. I think they're going to do that. <laughs> but I am having a great time with my first experience with the PlayStation 4. Like I said, this is the first impressions. Now to compare it to the Xbox One. Huh. Being that I was a huge Xbox 360 fan, I loved the Xbox 360s. My top two consoles of all time. <laughs> so I had high expectations for this Xbox One. First off, I'm going to start off by saying, let's talk about the bundle with the Kinect. Like I complained with the PlayStation 4 not having the bundle, I am happy that I was got the bundle with the Kinect. If Microsoft had a vision of this console needing the Kinect, then I wanted the full potential of the best gaming experience I would have with my Xbox One. So I'm happy I got the Kinect. I look forward to using the Kinect when I, when I stream on Twitch TV with the Xbox One because I want the full experience. So I don't have to worry about buying a camera. I have to buy a camera for the PlayStation 4 because then it come bundled with it. So I have no problem with the... Connect coming with the Xbox One. Now let's get on to the controller. 
I'm gonna admit this now, and a lot of people are gonna be surprised. Currently, right now, I like the PlayStation 4 controller better than the Xbox One controller. I'm not gonna repeat that. <laughs> I like, I'm just gonna say the Xbox 360 controller was such an amazing controller. I'm still getting used to this Xbox One controller. It does feel different. Do I like it? Yes, but it's not the Xbox 360 controller. One of my biggest complaints about the Xbox One is they kind of they kind of ruined the Xbox Live for me. Xbox Live on the Xbox 360 feels a hell of a lot, is a hell of a lot, looks a hell of a lot better than the Xbox One. It's not the same live experience. The achievement system, it's, you still get achievements, but the way you look at the achievements, it's completely different. I'm not really feeling the Xbox One dashboard. I still have to get used to it because I love the Xbox 360 that much. The dashboard on the Xbox One kind of feels like, you know, a social media, social network, the way they did things. It just takes a lot to get used to. Another thing with the Xbox, the Xbox One, excuse me, it seems kind of slow. Like, to boot this thing on, I'm, I'm literally counting like, holy shit, what's taking it so long as to boot up? It makes me worried sometimes. Like, yo, is my shit frozen? What's taking so long? But I'm sure that'll be fixed after a couple updates. The console does move a little slow. It, that worries me. Um, as far as games, I have Dead Rising 3. It's a good game. It's not a system seller. Xbox One, unlike the PlayStation 4, does have plenty of games coming out. I look forward to Titanfall as one of them. And many more. Halo. And tons of more games. Um, I am enjoying the Xbox One. I, ha I believe it has a lot of potential in being a great console. I just think Microsoft is going to be doing a few upgrades with it. Um, making it faster probably. Uh, I really do not like the Xbox Live on Xbox One. I don't like it. It's a disappointment. But I don't know. Like it's hard for me. Like I said, this is my first impression. Is this something I'm going to get used to? Or is this... Or is, I don't know. I'm coming back from the Xbox 360, which I enjoyed so much. Um, what else? The controller. I, I like it. I love the Xbox 360 controller. Um, the Kinect. I'm happy I got it. It moves a little slow, but it's cool. But in comparison to PlayStation 4, they're both really good consoles. I honestly, right now, if I had to pick one, I would pick the uh, Wii U. No, <laughs> I don't know. I can't pick one. So I'm going to say they're both really good consoles. This is my first impressions on them. No disappointments here. I look forward to a great generation coming up, playing games on them, online experience, and so forth. Um, But, uh... With the Xbox One too, oh my god, it's so heavy. It feels like it's a 10 pound weight in there. It's I know the weight doesn't matter. I'm not gonna be walking around with this thing, but it's it's it makes me wonder like what the hell is in this thing? I'm assuming it's a lot of power. <laughs> but it's me, Blake doing six with a first impressions video of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. If you want more in-depth details as far as controller comparisons or headset comparisons or Kinect comparisons, I have videos for each one of those. This is just the systems comparisons. So make sure to check out those videos. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all at Blake316. So make sure to subscribe for future videos. Until next time, peace.